What's up you guys, Interceptor King here. Anyways, this is uh, still available. It's the uh, black Ford Utility Interceptor. Got pretty dusty. Anyways, this actually was black and white when I got it, so this paint job on this is new. And I'm gonna let you in on a little secret about other car dealerships. For over a year, the cost of cars shot through the roof. So the price that used car dealerships have been paying for cars went up also. So they pay more, you guys pay more. But what most places don't do is they don't keep up. Every month it changes, it either goes up or down. In a perfect world, a normal world, values of cars would go down every single month. Well, for a year there they went up. And these dealerships, they, uh, they're they still charging the ridiculous prices, even though car, some a lot most of the car values, some of the rarer cars went up a little bit, but most cars, that are, uh, I still gotta wash this side, it's still filthy. Uh, most car dealerships are gonna still charge you what that extra money that they paid for a vehicle even though it's a new month and uh, prices went down. So, uh, not me though, I check every month, I see if they go up or down. This thing started out as a $21,000 car, you guys. When I first got this, it was a $21,000 vehicle. I just sold six of these last month and I sold one this month so far. I think with everybody getting out, uh, it's summertime, kids are out of school, I think uh, everybody's out doing their thing because they've been locked up for a couple years because of COVID and all this other stuff. But even though gas prices are high, people are you know, wanting to get out. And So I just think that's why basically there's not a lot of car sales this month. For me anyways, you know, that should be, that's basically what happens with me is a reflection on uh, what's going on everywhere. So uh, sold six of these last month, one this month. This thing's only 16.1 at the time of this recording. Now, this month is uh, June, so depending on what happens next month, it'll either stay the same, go up, or go down. Who knows? Who knows what the market's gonna do? So this is the black one, 2017. It's got 125 on it. It's a one-owner vehicle. Runs and drives perfect. The AC is ice cold, you guys. It's got a brand new cushioned vinyl back seat. The AC's on. It's blowing, spitting ice cubes out of that thing. So, scoop this up, somebody. You guys, it's all-wheel drive. It's got a naturally aspirated 3.7 liter V6. Most amount of vehicle for least amount of money. Why pay more elsewhere? Heavy duty everything. Government's number one crash test rating. So it's the safest for your family. Heavier duty wheels, tires, suspension, brakes, cooling, and charging systems. And this has been uh, crash tested to be rear-ended at 75 miles per hour. If somebody runs into the back of this thing at 75 miles per hour while this is sitting at a dead stop, if you're sitting inside of the vehicle, you're going to walk away from it. Uh, a lot of vehicles where the gas tanks are and stuff, they'll actually explode if they get hit at 75 miles per hour from the back. Not this vehicle. Uh, this is all about safety, these vehicles, and performance. So go to copcarforsale.com for current inventory. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like us on Facebook. You guys be safe. And remember, it's June, so whatever happens next month is going to either keep the price the same, make it go up, or make it go down. And these used or these new car dealerships are charging. They're calling it a vehicle shortage fee, and some other places call it a uh, destination fee. Blah blah blah. I don't charge any of that stuff. I had a buddy, a, a guy that uh, bought a vehicle from me. He was going to buy. He owns a security company, and he was going to go buy a new Denali. And it was uh, ninety thousand dollars for the Denali. Plus, he had to pay state sales tax where he's at, so that's ninety-nine thousand dollars. And then they wanted to charge a, and they are charging people a seven thousand five hundred dollar vehicle shortage fee. So that a brand new Denali is one hundred and seven thousand dollars, over one hundred and seven to one hundred and eight thousand. If you got to pay uh, sales tax in Oregon, we don't pay sales tax, which is nice. So if you're an Oregon resident, you don't have to worry about sales tax. But I'm just saying the cost of a new vehicle and these other dealerships, they're going to make you pay that extra money that they paid when they got the vehicle when the prices were still up. The average vehicle nationwide sits on a car lot for 61 days. 61 days or 63 days before they sell. That's the nationwide average right there. So, scoop this up before somebody else does. Newer paint job. It was black and white. The doors were white. The roof was white. The only way to get that perfect, you have to spray paint, you have to paint the whole thing. You have to spray it all. You can't just paint the doors and the roof. It'll never match properly. So the only way to get it to match properly is to paint the whole thing. All right. Later, you guys.